Hey guys. All right, folks, we're here today to check out the video that finished in first place in the Patreon poll of the week, none other than Blood Red Hourglass with In Lieu of Flowers. All right, new song, new video. Let's fucking go. The boys from Finland are back at it again. I love these dudes and I cannot wait. I'm not even gonna ask you if you're ready or not. Is that their new logo? It looks like it's their logo. <clears throat> Can I start off? Yeah. Before I talk about anything, I gotta say this. Promoters out there, get these guys with Orbit Culture on a tour together. Let's make that happen. That's the tour that the world needs. And that's what you could call the tour that the world needs. Yeah. Orbit Culture and Blood Red Hourglass together on a fucking tour. That show would be absolute insanity. We need to get that happen. Somehow, somewhere, this needs to happen. I, I swear to God, if I was a promoter, I would be I would be jumping on this like yesterday. Yesterday. Anyhow, outside of that, uh, fuck, what is there to say about this song? Is Blood Red Hourglass it's, being Blood Red it's Hourglass? It's Blood Red Hourglass at their finest. <clears throat> I think that's what it is, dude. My throat is dry from from watching this. Like I'm, I'm spent. It's fucking good, so fucking good. 
<coughs> I told you. Dude, these guys just, they know how to, they, they know how to make some good ass music and I, I don't even know what to say, man. It's even, I mean, look at the video, the big budget for the video. <laughs> But, but simple at the same time. It's I mean, it's not overly time. complicated. Yeah, just a bunch of flower petals and and a nice ass stage. I, the stage was also in the the shape of their uh, yeah, logo. Like, like the, keeping it simple, not overly complicated. You they just know. know how to do it right. They know how to, some bands do it. These guys do it right. Ah, the, everything about the video, everything about the song, uh, the sound. That chorus was so electrifying. Yeah, it was just like so mesmerizing it's just a chorus that catches your attention for two reasons it catches your attention because of the guitar melody that it has and it catches your attention because of the way the vocals are coming across it's just two things that go together to make the song super hooky super catchy i absolutely love this track it's phenomenal 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 song these guys is like these shit good songs yeah unreal man like i honestly it's just unbelievable unbelievable track it's 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 not it's not like original blood red hourglass sound you know what i mean but it's blood red hourglass nevertheless like I, like these they've been a band that they they haven't they've they've grown in their own skin you know what yeah. i mean with every album they've perfected a few things here and there they change a few things here and there but at the end of the day when you listen to this the moment the song starts and and it, you know you're listening to blood red hourglass their dna is still there yeah but they're able to kind of like push the boundaries of what their sound could be instead of being that like when they started i thought they were going to be more of that traditional finnish melodic death metal band that just has that sound that just has that essence that every every record is pretty much going to fall in line with what that sound and that essence they've really, is they've really uh but they've, they've exceeded those expectations yeah right? yeah because they took that they created a little bit of of what is their sound signature of what is their dna but then they're like okay but you know, we're artists. We want to be creative. We want to try new things. We want to try this. We want to try that without completely changing the makeup of who they are. And I don't want to throw it. I'm not, and I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. That's not what I'm saying here. But you look at, for example, at another Finnish band like Lost Society, the, 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 the growth of Blood Red Hourglass has been more of an organic growth to where they are today versus where they started. And with Lost Society, it's almost like they, they, they broke. They plateaued. Well, they reach well, a certain point. They broke the chain. The chain broke yeah. to what the past of the band was, to what the present of the band is. There, there's, there's no like. There was you this is a progression. It was more of just like a. Come they here, hit a reset boom, button, and then yeah, and then let's go in. Blood Red Hourglass. You see the progression throughout the albums, and, and the DNA that made the sound of the band at it's, the beginning is still there. It's, still it's there. just that there's other things now coming together with it. But, but overall, once you listen to all of them in sequence or if you've listened to any song from the past couple albums you see that you hear the progression and you can still hear the dna but you you get more of like a mixture it, it, of new shit lost society like you said is more of a they went they cut and they went again it, there's no progression it's more of just like a cut and go yeah, yeah and, and i'm not saying that there's anything wrong with doing that yeah but i'm saying for the fans of the band that have been there from the beginning there's no it's sense. much it's much easier for you, you to grow with the band it's easier for you to grow with the it's band it's easier for you to grow with the band but you're also never losing fans at the same time because what the fans loved about the first records and all that stuff you can still find it they here. can still find it here yeah you can still find it here i i, I prefer a band that takes that approach of saying, okay, this is who we are, this is where we started, this is our DNA, but we want to be creative, we want to try different things, and we want to see where we can take our sound and our band. And as we but grow... As we grow, the nucleus is still the same, yeah. it's just that what's around the nucleus that's changing. Almost like you when you get dressed in the morning to go to work, you're still who you are, just but you're clothes. wearing a different clothing every single day when you go out. So I, I, I prefer a sequence like this, because it allows me to feel like I've been there for every stage of the band's growth like you're there for for the birth you're there for like the early childhood you're there for the teenage years you're there for like the young adult you you know like i, I feel like i i'm more invested into the experience of listening to the band 
when the band does that kind of progression and that kind of, it has that kind of growth. When you when you completely break apart from where, who you were to where you are, it's a lot harder for you to do that jump because it's a lot more defined. The cut is defined. The cut is from an album to an album is defined. So it's harder for you to completely forget about one and, and reconnect with another because it's almost like you're listening to two different bands. You know what I mean? So at least when you listen to the records, obviously if you go to see a show, it's different because then you include old material, new material. It's a different story. But I like the progression of, of Blood Red Hourglass from where they started to where they are today. This song is magnificent. Yeah. There's not much else I can say to it. Great sound. The drums sounded phenomenal. The vocals sounded great. The beginning, the vocals at the beginning there felt like they went a little bit somewhere that I hadn't seen before. Because, you know, when it comes to the vocal performance on a Blood Red Hourglass track, you get used to those ups and downs and all the constant changes and whatever. But that opening there felt like it went a little bit to a place that I hadn't necessarily seen before. At least not as an introduction to how a song starts. And I thought that was really cool because it kind of, I was like at the beginning, I was like, woo, what's happening here? Where are they going to go with this vocally? But then the song vocally went back more to what we saw in the previous record. And then things stabilized a little bit better. But that was really interesting, at least to throw that caveat there at the beginning, because I thought that was an interesting starting point. But musically, what a fucking ripper of a track. I think I've said it all. Yeah. Man, sometimes you don't have to say much. It's just fucking good song is a exactly. good song. I feel like the song spoke for us. I feel so. And then you spoke for me too. Yeah, I feel like you didn't say anything about this. I know. I feel like I'm... I was speechless at the start, but now after you saying all that stuff, what is there for me to say? Other than I really fucking enjoyed this song, as I have for the past couple albums of, of their uh, of my enjoyment of their music, and I think this is not where it ends. I think the next song will be better than this one, and so forth. Uh, Blood Red Hourglass is one of the very few bands that I feel like has grown as the channel has grown because we yeah, discovered we've grown them with this band, man. because we discovered them early on on the channel when we were taking our first steps on YouTube. And as our channel has grown, the band has grown, so we've grown together. And because of that, I honestly feel if there's one band, then, and I know I'm a huge fan of Winter Sun, I'm a huge fan of Insomnium. I, I mean, one of the, one you know, of the, I, I, I want to say this, and I want to know if we went on the, we're going on the same path here. I think this band, and, and there's only a little bit of other bands like this, but this band, if I'm to summarize the channel in bands, this band is there. Yeah, I, I the the bands that define the channel, this band has to be there. Uh, th there's others, but they have to be there. Yeah. I want to I want to finish this off by saying that like like I said, I'm a huge Winter Sun fan. I'm a huge Insomnium fan. I'm a huge Wolfheart fan. All bands from Finland, uh, Children of Bodom, all of those bands. But these guys, they're the band that perhaps right now, because of that journey from the early stages of the channel to today. And the fact that they haven't taken three years to release new material has really allowed me to grow with them and, and build a bond with their music. There's very few bands out there that I would be extremely pissed off if they, if they released an album and the album was out of character with the sound of the band, at least the sound of the band up until that point. There's very few. These guys would be one of those few bands that I would be, if they released an album that went like hard rock or 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 new metal or um, or pure metalcore or what, whatever. I probably would still enjoy it, but I would be fucking pissed about the fact that that what happened to my old. It, it would be that whole new in flames, old in flames. Yeah. But it would be like me saying old blood red hourglass, new blood red hourglass. I there's not many bands out there that I feel that emotionally invested in them as I do with these guys because of that growth together that their path and our path are kind of similar with one another. So because of that, I, I really feel emotionally invested in this band. And it's one of the very few that I feel that way about, that I feel that strongly about. I just want to mention that and finish on that note. I would, I would, I would be like fucking pissed. I would, I would fly to Finland to all of their houses and I would fucking smack everybody around. Get your shit together, motherfucker. Get your fucking shit together. What the fuck was that record all about? Get the fuck get the fuck out of here. You would sit them all down like, listen, we're just going to pretend the other record never happened. We're going to start again. We're going to recall it. Recall it, yes. We're going to recall Take it. it. We're going to see there was a factory defect. We're going to recall it. Wasn't it wasn't actually you guys. It wasn't you guys. You guys got hacked. We're going to recall it. Was a different it. band that just tried using your name, posted on your social media, all this stuff. And then for the music videos, they just kind of like edited it, you know? 
I, I would I, there's Big not conspiracy theory. honestly there's not many bands that would have that effect on me there's there's, there's, there's bands world. out there that I really love that if they release an off record I'm like yeah you know whatever wait for the next one these guys I think the expectations for me I, I just feel a more personal connection that's all and and like me there's other people that feel that way about other bands yeah. which is which is understandably so we all have our own special baggage that we bring into our own music experience all right, guys, this is it. This one finished number one in the Patreon poll of the week. And here you go. We'll see you all next week with more videos. See ya.